So our home flipping adventure for this week, we're going to be going into one of our houses. This time we have uh, about 50 of our students. Everybody do me a favor, turn around and wave to Mike real quick. Yay. All right. <laughs> we're going to be heading in the house together and checking our progress and go from there. So let's head in. Let's do it. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, mama. All right. Here we go. All right. Ooh, it's open. Nice. Coming together. Yeah. We can walk in here, I'm guessing, right? <clears throat> Looks like it's all together. Yep, we're okay. We'll get everybody in here, as best, find, find a spot, and so then we'll... where was that hole? Which hole? Where I was Different pushing? house. Different oh, house. Never mind, never mind. Different house, different yes. Different house, yeah. There was a hole here that Amber and I, in one of the videos, almost pushed, pushed me down. <laughs> he deserved it that day. We'll let everybody come in and make sure they don't fall through the, the hole out there. We haven't lost a man yet in one of these tours, so let's not do it today. Oh, this is fun. Okay. So Amber can tell you what we did. Yeah, that's what it was. And so yeah, when I walked in here, um, it had already been gutted pretty well. Um, there was a small kitchen here. There was a bathroom right here. Um, that was like a second kind of living area, and it had a sliding door that went out there, and there was nothing to stand on. So. Most houses I go in, I'm pretty quick. Let's do this here, da 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 I know exactly what I'm gonna do. We were here for probably three hours with my project manager one day, just trying to figure out what to do where, because it just, things didn't fit right. Um, and upstairs was a little bit funky too, like the bedrooms all, ha they, they have like weird ceilings and- Is this the one that has the- The porch. Oh yeah, okay. There's like a all porch right. in a bedroom. I, I is that, well, we'll see if we go upstairs, <laughs> We'll see yeah. if we we'll go up there, yeah. So, Make sure you guys know that bathroom was not there. That was, This was all right. kitchen. Our this, this was kitchen. There was a bathroom right here. Oh, there was right, a half right, bath right. Yes, right here. Yes, okay, right. And this wall was a full wall, of course. Yes, this was a full wall. So <laughs> my favorite thing to do in houses is take out walls. <laughs> love, love, love. You know, the open concept has been in for years and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. So I went back and forth between making that the kitchen or this the kitchen, but with the basement door is right here. It was just too weird to have a basement door in a bedroom. I was going to make this like a master suite and try to use the existing plumbing for the bathroom, but it just, it, it couldn't work. So we decided um, to make that the master bedroom. Um, we built in some closets right there, his and her closets, and then there's um, a door to the bathroom on that side. So that this bathroom is just dedicated to that. So it's an, it's an en suite. Um, the kitchen's going to go right here, and then we're going to have another row of cabinets right here. And then this bar is going to overhang into the living room so we can pop a couple of bar stools right there. This is the dining room. That's the living room. So, so we, now we, oh, go ahead. So we have a nice, um, nice master ensuite on the first floor, which is, you know, if it's on the second floor, that's not a deal killer. But if I can do it on the first floor, that's a little bit better. But the bathroom was here. What we lose? Well, think about where our guests are going to go to the bathroom. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Nope. So Amber added a bathroom right I in the back a half corner. Bath. You, in a house like this, your guests either have to go to your master bath, which I wouldn't like, or you have to send them upstairs, which is a little bit awkward too. We have a basement here, so the plumbing's pretty easy to do. You know, and, and everything's that flexible pipe now with the pecs and everything and PVC, so it's it, it really wasn't too bad. One thing by having <laughs> a designer and having Amber's brain, so she's, you know, sometimes me, I think, well, it's still a two bath house. I have a three bedroom, two bath, I got a master suite, big deal, but she thinks, like a woman. So the, the guys, I'm sorry, we don't think like that all the time. We say, well, where's the bathroom? Where are we gonna go to the bathroom? We'll just go all back, I don't know. So this is, you know, but they had, she said, look, I have a bathroom downstairs. So that was like, yeah, where are we gonna put it? So the, the conversation, you have to try and picture what this was. This is all walled off. There's a bathroom here. We're, we're trying to- I'm, It was very choppy. She sees things that I don't see. I see the money. Like I see the money, boom, boom, I got the deal. I know it's gonna work, not work. She sees the design. And I always say to her, I say, you know, she'll say, can we do this? And I'll say, well, anything can be done with money. It just, just just depends if the money makes sense. That's all that we. That's what I have to do is decide that we decide that. But I'm usually on the number side, usually on the design side. But that was a simple decision because that bathroom is a couple thousand bucks max to build a new bathroom there, probably with the yeah, it's like a three, all right three by five, three by six bathroom. Yeah, the you know, drains are right there and everything's right there. So boom, we take it out and we're good to go. So yeah. So when you're designing though, you do have to keep your business hat on and make business decisions, not emotional decisions. You know, the emotional side of me wants to make it like super nice and put granite in everything and you well, know just like nice just like is. do do a, a really 
that, that's the designer side of me. I want to go crazy. Um, but the business side of me wants to make money. So you, gotta, you do have to make business decisions when it comes to your design elements because you your design elements can get really out of hand, like yeah. really quick. They can end up costing a lot. But a trick that, that, I've, that I've taught a lot is, you know, find a picture in a magazine or on Pinterest that you like. And it might be a really, you know, 5,000 square foot house or whatever, really big kitchen. You can take elements of that kitchen. Maybe the tile in that kitchen was $15 a square foot. You can get something very similar for two dollars a square foot. You can almost match that kitchen. You can get the same kind of light, the same kind of like dining room light, um, on a much smaller scale, and it costs you two hundred dollars instead of three thousand dollars. You can take a lot of those elements and just like match them and make them look really, really nice in a, in a kitchen and still get that same feel. Yeah, let's go this way. Everybody, pile this way a little bit so everybody can get in here. So this room was really funky. So this room, you can see where there was a wall. That was the exterior of the house before, and like this was an addition over the porch. And it was weird. It had a, win a window here, and it had a window right there that looked into the other bedroom. Like glass windows, like yeah. windows. Like very, very strange. Yeah. So this is a little bit of a strange shape for a room, though. But this is the biggest room up here, so I'm going to make this like another, um, since it's an Airbnb, I'll put like a queen size bed in here probably on that wall. And then I'll just do this as a little sitting area with a little lamp in between, a little reading nook or something like that. If this was a kid's bedroom, you could totally turn this into a little reading nook or play area or something like that. It would be really cute. So if, if you have a funky area, what do you think you do to <coughs> sell it? If you want to sell it to a funky area, you want to define it, what do you do? Stage it. Stage it. Stage it. Because right? people lack vision. They, People I, like vision. They they might they might walk into this, this to this room and say, "What a weird room." But if you stage it, you know, if you if it's going to be a little girl's room, maybe you put like one of those little um, tent things up, you know, that they sell now, and put some pillows around it and some little books and pillows or something like that. What? Great, good. Nothing. You keep walking in front of me. So go ahead. <laughs> yeah. When Amber's talking, it's like whatever. Yeah, I just it's my world. Oops. She wants to the mall, just knock people around. Like what? Not. What? It's my space. What's the problem? Who stayed in the corner? Oh my god! I know. Yeah, that's about it for me. So what was the price of the house? I think we paid in the forties. I don't remember what it was. I want to say forty-two to forty-five in that ballpark. It had foundation problems. You know it. Yeah. It had water in the basement, foundation, and obviously it was nasty. We just when we walked there was nasty. Probably hundred fifty a night. Yeah, Probably I think so. in that ballpark, yeah. Yeah. Right down the road is a place called Glen Sanders Mansion, so there's a lot of weddings down there. Mm -hmm. Collins Park's over here, Saratoga's not too far off the road, so there's a... We're going to try Scotia to see what it, what it feels like over here, you know? So let me talk about something else while we're here. So being that we took that wall out, obviously the floor did not go under the wall, so we have to do one of two things. We have to either... Um, fill that in and put carpet in, which if I was flipping this house, I probably would. That's probably the easier solution to this problem. However, since I'm doing an Airbnb, the hardwood's gonna last me longer than carpet wood. It's gonna stay cleaner longer term. So I'm actually gonna have the guys probably rip some um, wood out of the closet and tooth that in. Yep, just tooth it right in to match it. Or, actually I just thought of a third option. <clears throat> I thought of a third option. I could actually have them cut it all the way to the edge of that wall and put almost like a threshold piece just opposite. Right. That way that's even less than work than having to tooth it in since this is yeah. going to be kind of its own little separate area, sitting area anyway, yep. and that wouldn't look bad at all. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, the, it's the least expensive solution to right. fix the problem. Exactly. Not cobbing it, not doing it the wrong way, yeah. but it's the least expensive solution to fix the problem. So make sure you always think of those kind of creative ideas. When I'm taking out walls between kitchens and living rooms, oftentimes we won't take out the whole wall for that reason, because right. we don't want to have to have floor issues. Right. But if you're putting tile in anyway, it might not be an issue, but if there's hardwood that already goes throughout, you might not want to take the whole wall out, unless it's just going to ruin your design. And in some cases I have done that um, to really open it up and <laughs> yeah. make it a great Not room. But <laughs> yeah. Wherever I go, it's Amber. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever I go. I'm Amber, I'm talking, yeah, forget it. She's at Home Depot this morning, so she's very, very queeny. So, <laughs> lots of attention to Home Depot. <laughs> so we're not going to go in every room here, but this, I did want to... You all look around, we I can't did, all fit in there. But yeah. I did want to show this particular room to you so you could get an idea. You know, there was paint peeling off of these, these you know, yeah, you know, like, it, it was, like the big, like, you know, big, huge chunks of paint just falling down. The, there's two other bedrooms up here. Um, there's a bathroom that we're just going to refinish it. We're going to keep the same configuration that it had. But then there's a, right at the end of the hallway, there was another just kind of, like, area. 
it's not big enough to be a room or whatever. Um, the basement is a little bit awkward to get into. Most of the time laundry is in the basement in these houses, but since there's three bedrooms up here, the most of the bedrooms are up here, I'm gonna put the laundry up here. And it was a pretty, it was a pretty low cost solution because you know, it was easy to run the pipes up right from the basement. Um, this one's probably got about another three, four weeks. Yeah. 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 It looks we like did. it, yeah. We yeah. did. And since it's an Airbnb, we'll put um, AC in too. Oh, yeah. 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 Things that are like yeah. in the wall. No, well, we'll have to have air. it. Yeah, central air. Yeah. yeah. But those are nice. We've done those a couple of times when you had to. Those, yeah. those warm so units, they're let's nice. take about five minutes, wander around a little bit, take a look at what you want, and then let's head back on the boat yep. so we can go to the next house. All right. All right, there you have the ending of this adventure. Very different than normal, but we are going through the house and we took everybody through and we're showing yep. them how it is. So hopefully you enjoyed that live. We're showing all of our students what we do and how we do it. And how Amber gets to block me out when we're talking to people, because that's what she does. What? Yeah, yeah, that's about what? right. What? That sums it up. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>